if you created a mix and all your faders look like this in your mixer window instead of like this then it's probably because you're not using pre-fader metering so in this video i'm going to show you why you should be using pre-fader metering and how to set it up so i've been using logic pro for since 2008 and it's one of the earliest things that i learned about and understood in the mixer window of logic some people use it some don't but if like i said if you're doing your mixes and your faders are all the way down the bottom of the mixer then pre-fader metering is going to help you right the reason we use pre-fader metering what is pre-fader metering pre-fader metering is signal that gets to your plugins before the fader so that's pre-fader pre-signal so all the signal that's coming down into your channel fader is, has to pass through all your plugins first before you can make the changes to the to the gain to the volume of the sound but i'm just going to play the kick of this beat and show you what i mean so we've got the kick and that's peaking at 8.7 so if i put a plug in on let's try pro key free now let's say for example that kick was a lot more hot than that and this is what happens sometimes so the, it, the kick's hot it's peaking and it sounded distorted so automatically we're going to turn the fader down and then we we'll turn the fader down say we, we, we're peaking about we want about 10 we're going for 10 db peak 10 db peak yeah and you can see the fader is all the way down the bottom of the mixer the mixer window the fader is all the way down the bottom of the mixer if you notice it goes from fives and then when it gets to 30, it jumps to 6. So 30 to 24, 24 to 21, 21 to 18, and it's smaller and smaller. It's going to be a lot more harder for you to make tiny adjustment, adjustments, adjustments when the fader's all the way down there. And who wants their kick to be all the way at the bottom of the fader? Like You could just, with some mixes, you can leave it at zero unity gain. But if you do that, look, it's too hot. And if you slap a plug in on there, like I did with Pro Q3, it's saying it's four dBs over, causing that to, to do too much. So that's why we use pre fader metering. When we switch on pre fader metering, which is up here in your transport window. So to turn on pre fader metering, click in the gray area of your transport window and customize control bar and display, and then turn on pre fader metering. And you're going to see your display transport display is going to change and we're going to come out of that and we're going to turn it on now when you when you turn it on you can see there's a change the, the faders jump to the, the the other side of the signal the bar so i'll show you it swaps sides so that's telling you that's before the fader now when you turn the fader down it's, got, it's not going to change it's still telling you that that is you're distorting you're clipping you might you might want to clip but we don't want to clip in this video so that's still telling us that we're clipping so to get around that if it's an audio file we can use gain to turn it down we can use the gain so we can use the gain to turn it down which is what i like to do with audio so much easier and now you can see what the actual real signal is on your channel fader you can also use plugin like utility like the gain plugin to turn it down and that's another option it's cool option if you need to make some automation changes to your volume then that's probably a good way to go but then you're going to have to automate that, which is going to give you an extra job to do. Say, for example, you had a MIDI track, a MIDI channel. So with audio, it's easier just to use the gain slider to change the gain of the of the audio. So if you're using a MIDI, a VST instrument, and it's just super loud. And pre-fader meter is turned off. We're going to turn, to turn it right down again to get at a decent volume. When you turn pre-fader metering on, you can see that it's still clipping the channel. So what I like to use is I have a Vumped, a Vumped plugin, which allows me to trim the volume 
the gain of the plugin, the amount of signal from the plugin, or you can just go straight to the plugin and just turn it down. And because your pre fader meter is on now, you can see that you're roughly around minus 14, minus 18 dBs, which is also a part of gain staging and that will help you with your gain staging. And once you've done that across the whole of your mix or whatever sound it is that you're using, you can see now that you've gain staged, you've gain staged all your signals. So now your faders ain't going to look like this no more. They're not all going to be down the bottom of your fade, your mixer window, your mixer, and just looking odd. I know no one's going to know whether or not that's the case when they listen to your music, but just gets you into good practice, gets you to understand how a mixer works and and helps you to get the most out of your music, make it sound good, make it sound good to the listener. So I appreciate your time. And if you've got anything from this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.